The 911 Turbo has been on sale for quite a while now, and with the imminent arrival of the Porsche GT3 RS, this isn't such a hyped up car anymore. Even though wait lists are still over a year long depending on the area that you live in, and there are still crazy markups on these cars. The 911 Turbo, of course, is turbocharged, and the range is much more simpler compared to the Carrera video. Carreras. If you haven't seen the video that I did, please make sure to check it out. We have coupe and cabriolet forms, all our all wheel drive, all our automatics, an 8 speed Porsche dual clutch automatic to be exact. Um, two trim levels, turbo and turbo S as you know, 572 horsepower or 650 horsepower. Turbo S is absurdly quick and turbo is also absurdly quick as you may know. No, and Turbo S is also absurdly expensive. Now, interestingly, the 911 Turbo received a pretty interesting change. For 2023 is a heritage design left for interior. This is an interior option that I absolutely adore. You get the beautiful Cognac interior and the beautiful Houndstooth interior and the gorgeous wood or wood trim or the leather trim on the dash and it just looks so so cool especially if you have got in the convertible form the configurator also now shows the pan paint to simple options which is really nice if you want to get a color from the paint to sample options so which means now we can spec an a ridiculously ugly 911 if you haven't seen that video that i made make sure to go check it out and hear it where is the 911 in all of its glory in peridot metallic it looks quite interesting another minor change we get to our model year 23 is locking wheel bolts now 60 dollars um want to get that get that um, it's basically what it is. You also get p preparation for Porsche, Porsche dash cam as an option for the first time. You get this? It basically means that your Porsche 911 will be pre-wired to take on a Porsche dash cam. Now this is quite a small thing, so if you want it, get it. But I highly recommend just getting the aftermarket one if you can do so. We also get quite a lot of extra crazy expensive paint options. For 2023, we get Arctic Grey as a new option. We also get Ice Grey as well. Arctic Grey is a launch color of the Cayenne Turbo GT. You also have Ice Grey Metallic. It looks quite similar to GT Silver Metallic with a bit of a twist. So to me, I think it looks superb in this color spec it right and with arctic gray i think you have one of the best looking 911s on sale today last but not least the 911 turbo aero kit has now turned into the 911 turbo sport design package now if i go up and choose a white car you can now get the black sport design pack now it requires you to get a sport exhaust system we're just going to do a black exhaust now basically it's the same thing as the aero kit except this time it's renamed you basically still get like a bigger spoiler sky skirts a different from bumper and all, all of that nonsense because i say it's nonsense is because it's quite expensive but again, if you have the money and you like the exterior, go for it. You also have the sport package. The sport package is a lightweight package esque thing. Now, the lightweight package is mainly beneath the car, but the sport package basically gives you these wheels, the sport design package, and the wheels, as I said before, and the carbon fiber roof. 
where this is worth fifteen thousand dollars up to you as the carbon fiber roof by itself isn't worth isn't a well quote unquote costly option three thousand eight hundred ninety dollars this is an option that i'd suggest if you're going for the lightweight package and that's it for today's video thanks for watching